Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. Today we are going to learn about the how to handle the stale element reference exceptions. This is one of the most common issues we have and we must do deal with this thing. So, first of all, we are trying to understand what is by the stale element reference exception. So, what I'm doing guys, I'm just simply opening the Google browser here and I'm trying to, you know, capture this text box and I'm trying to send this thing. But before sending, I'm just refreshing this page. So what will happen? The web element is avail available, but it is not available in a, you know, DOM structure. It is going to wind up. So latest address of that web element is not available. And that is why we will get stale element reference exception. This is one of the, you know, most common exceptions we have. So let me quickly show you this part. You can see, suppose this is a normal code I have. I'm just using system dots. I'm just setting the path. I'm just opening the browser and you can see, let me quickly finding out driver dot find element driver dot find element. Okay. Uh, by dot uh, ID I'm just using and then I'm just pasting the ID here. You can see, let me paste the ID here. Uh, what is ID? Do we have ID or name name we have? So let me add the name over here instead of ID and you can see Q I'm just sending. Once this is done, before doing any actions, what I, this is a text box we have. Let me store this thing here. Web element text box we have is equal to one. This is done. Then what I'm doing guys, I'm simply refreshing this thing. So how to refresh? Simple. I'm just using here driver dot navigate to method. I'm just using and just refreshing this uh, element. And once this is done, I'm just sending the text box. Text box dot send key method. I'm just using. And I'm just passing here, hello, uh, or Ganesh, Sadhav, you know, automation studio. This is what I'm just sending the text over here, guys. Please make a note of this one. Once we are done with this thing, then what is the next thing we'll have, guys? Uh, we are, I'm just sending, what I'm sending, guys, uh, I'm just using uh, here, driver.close method I'm using, so I can close the uh, this browser. Once this is let me apply some thread dot slips so you can able to see, see here uh, like uh, is our element is properly working or not. And you can see guys, if I'm going to run this script here, you probably you will get notice guys. My browser is going to open here, but but I'm not able to send any text because we will get exceptions. You can see now my browser is not going to close automatically here as well. And you can see. Uh, but like I'm getting an exception as well. If I'm going to open the IntelliJ ID, you can see I'm clearly getting what I'm getting, guys. Stale element exceptions. Uh, basically, we will get what exactly we will get, guys. Stale element reference exceptions. So how to handle these things? The one of the simplest way we have to handle the stale element reference exception is, guys, we have to use a try and catch block over here. What we have to use, guys? Compulsory, we have to use try and catch block. Based on that, also you can able to handle. So how to use this try and catch block? Let me quickly write down this code. Whatever code basically I uh, added over here, I'm just I, I'm just I have to write down this which code guys. This uh, sending test code in a try block. You can see simple. I'm just uh, you know I'm just mentioning this code, uh, sending data into the text box. I'm adding these things in a try block. When this is done, I'm just using catch block over here. What I'm using guys. I'm just simply using catch block. Like what exceptions, what kind of exceptions we have to catch now? We have to catch stale element reference exceptions we have to catch. Okay. So once this is done, as dot, okay. Once this is done, now once you catch this thing, then what is the next thing? Again, we have to do the same thing. What I what guys? Again, I have to get that web element path again. So it means we have to take a latest path for it. Okay. Web uh, text box, what I'm two, I'm just suggesting over here. Once this is done, then what is the next things we'll have, guys? You have to send this text again, guys. So once you will get exception again, you have you have to send this text here. Where, guys? Here I'm I'm sending. What is our code? What code are uh, talk about, guys? First of all, I'm just opening my Chrome browser. I'm opening the Google website here. I'm just fetching the path here, like the text box path I'm fetching. Again, I'm refreshing, so I will like my at latest address of the web element is got wiped up. Then again in a try block, I'm just sending the text over there. So we will get a stale element reference exceptions. Once we get a stale element reference exception, then we are we have to catch that exceptions here, guys. Where we have to catch, we have to catch that exceptions here. Once we catch that exception, again we are going to taking the latest address of that text box, and now we are trying to send the text. 
So with the help of these things, we can like uh, uh, with the help of these things, we can able to catch the exceptions. Now you can see, guys, if I'm going to run my program, probably you will get to know now my exceptions is going to handle properly as well, and uh, you know my browser is also going to close off it. You can see. Now, Ganesh Jada Automation Studio, you can say this is and data also sending here. My, it means my string is also going to send here properly. And you can see we don't have any exception. And this is how basically we have to handle the stale element reference exception in the Selenium web interface. That's it for today. Thanks for watching this video.